When I was flight lieutenant in the Indian Air Force, I was at Air Force Academy. I was a bachelor, very much obsessed with my work. One year, I never took leave. One day when I went to meet my commandant, he looked at me and said, Jaisimma, why have you not taken leave whole year? I said, sir, I'm so busy with work. I need to take classes for the cadets. I need to manage the flight cadets mess. If I go, who will manage my work? It will get affected. He smiled and looked at me and said, come. He took me to the washroom. Now there was a bucket. He made me to put my hand in the bucket. He opened the tap. The bucket got filled and uh, my hand was still in the bucket. He said, pull this hand out. When I pulled my hand out, the water went and occupied the space where my hand was there. He smiled and said, did you realize this hand thought that it was occupying so much space. The moment I pulled out the hand, the water went and occupied the space. Did you understand this? So similarly, you and I are not indispensable. Before me, the Air Force Academy was there. When I am there, Air Force Academy is still there. Even after I go, Air Force Academy will still be there. Most people are very arrogant, egoistic, very proud they feel. You know who I am? You understand whom are you talking to? If only you know who you are, then why should you ask me? In the galaxy, the earth is so small. In that India is some more smaller. In that your Hyderabad, in Bangalore, Chennai, Delhi is so small. In that your colony, your building, and you are a small speck. And then here we come and there we go. Like blinking an eye and our lifespan gets over. And most of us think that without us, the whole world will crumble, it will crash. Gandhiji went, India is still there. Nehruji went, India is still there. Indira Gandhi went, India is still there. Raju Gandhi went, India is still there. Inti Nambara went, both the Telugu states are still there. And one day, you and I will be, not be there. And our family, our friends, the whole universe will be as it is. It makes no difference at all. But when we are there, we feel that we are carrying the whole burden of the universe on our shoulders and we think we are so important. The point that I am trying to drive home is, it's good that you are contributing. It's good that you are an important element. But everyone has got a purpose in this universe. If that person has got no purpose, then he would have not been created by the God. Everyone has got a purpose. You are being given a birth to make some little difference and then one day you have to go. But most of us, especially in the hierarchy of any corporate ladder, people think that if they are not there, the world is not going to be there at all. The best leader is the one who makes sure that his company works better when he is not there than when he is there. That means when you are there, anyway your company is going to work. When you are not there, your company should work much better. That means you are grooming, you are nurturing, you are actually preparing the next gen of leaders. That is the proper delegation. Delegation is a true hallmark of a leader. And this is what my commander taught me when I was in the Air Force. And I always feel that way. So, this beautiful nature, this beautiful world, just you are there for a little while, just enjoy. And if you can make a difference, if you can help your son, daughter, wife, mother, father, your friend, your colleague, and you can teach something and you can actually help your country to become number one, you do it. Because a day would come, you and I will not be there, but this world will continue. Okay, how long? We have no idea. If you can get this in your mind, then we all will be grounded to the Mother Earth. There will be no ego. There will be no false prestige. There will be no arrogance and we will be very, very humble. We enjoy every relationship and also when you look at our subordinate, we know how to nurture them. So remember this example, your hand in the bucket. So even the hand is not there, bucket will still be full with the water. So I am like my hand. Even if I am not there, the world will be the same way because tomorrow the sun is going to raise at the same time whether I am there or not there. If you understand this fact, you know how simple this whole life is. Never you will have horns. Never you think that you know who I am. That feeling won't be there. You know that you are another human being. Make sense? Thank you.
जय समा साइनिंग ऑफ जय हिंद